This is the old Kirk and Cemetery at Glassford, pronounced locally as Glassford, near Straven in South Lanarkshire. A church is recorded from the site as far back as 1278. When the present-day church was built in 1633, consecrated soil from the nearby St Ninian's Chapel at Stonehouse was brought to the site. This church was abandoned in 1820 when a new church was built in the middle of the village. The village was apparently known once as West Quarter. Only one gable end remains of the old kirk, with part of the belfry, and on one side there's the remains of a sundial. You can just about make out the stump of the metal gnomon that used to cast the shadow to tell the time. Behind the gable there's the remains of a small building. This may have been a local family mausoleum, or could even have been the groundkeeper's shed. A significant and unusually large memorial here is to the Covenanter William Gordon. He came from Earlston, near St Johnstown Dal Rye, Galloway. He was shot and killed on the 22nd of June 1679. He was making his way to the Battle of Bothwell Brig, but he arrived too late and the mopping up operations afterwards, a, the group of dragoons who encountered him, he refused to cooperate with them, and they shot him on the spot. This was at Crookerstone Farm, at the nearby village of Quarter. He had sent his son Alexander ahead of him, and it thought, given his age, which was 65, he was actually making final preparations he didn't expect to come back alive. His sister-in-law was able to obtain charge of his body, however he was refused burial back at the family burial crypt at the Gordon Isle at St John's town of Dalry. So instead he was buried here at Glassford. At first the burial site was marked by a simple pillar, an inscription was refused due to the sensitivity over the Covenanters. However, later, in 1772, a proper memorial was put in place with an inscription. This was carried out by Sir John Gordon, his great-grandson. In due course in 1842, it was further restored to the condition we see it today. Much later on, a tree, an oak tree, was brought up from Earlston and planted nearby. William Gordon and his wife had 13 children, with only around four of them survived to adulthood. One of them was the famous Alexander Gordon, the Covenanter, was mentioned before, fought at Brothwell Brig. John Howie of Loch Goyne wrote a book, The Scots Worthies, that mentions the most prominent Covenanters, and William Gordon is contained within it. The mansion house was taken over with the king's troops, and the estate itself suffered very badly, particularly the tenants. Sir Alexander Gordon was eventually buried at Dalry, but for many years his grave remained unmarked. He himself suffered appalling torture and multiple periods of imprisonment. Eventually, though, he was released. <laughs> 